what's up beautiful people it's indarima welcome to the channel today we have this interesting video and it's titled base airline employee shuts down woke trans influencer crying about me engineering in airport also i'm excited to check this one out as this is trending and yeah i'm excited to hear what greg from black conservative perspective i've got to see let's check it out hi my new podcast my first time launches tomorrow and here's a little sneak peek my first time. My first time. The other first time. My first time. This is actually another first. The first time. The first time. The first time. I yeah, my first time. My first time. All right, guys. So because it is the holiday season, I am trying to brighten up your day, right? I'm not trying to cover <laughs> stories that are too depressing or that make people upset, right? I'm going to try to cover some feel-good stories and boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy do i got a feel-good story for you guys in this video involving a transgender influencer who took to tiktok to post this video of this person i guess right that's what to call this person uh confronting a delta airlines employee about misgendering now this was right before christmas and of course these employees are stressed out okay and um they are not dealing with any mess right in regards <laughs> to these people who come up and they want to play games while they are under a bunch of stress you have the holiday season people are traveling uh flights are getting delayed all over the place and canceled but yet again you you got people that want to boohoo whine and cry bigotry over what is a simple mm -hmm. mistake that these airline employees quite frankly probably don't have time or the mental patience to deal with and they probably don't know woke knees right they probably <laughs> don't know woke knees okay so everybody's not going to be in tune with the woke agenda in the woke language but exactly. that did not stop this person from going to tiktok and essentially crying transphobia right i, I want to read the caption of this video before i play the video so you guys can get the full context of kind of the background of the video here it says when you try to advocate for yourself at Delta and are met with even more transphobia and threats of being arrested at LaGuardia, Tristan, the employee, said he was fine with me posting this, didn't realize it was condescending to flag a human rights violation after another employee misgendered me incessantly. Okay, so this person is trying to out Tristan. I'm assuming Tristan is one of the okay. individuals in this video right here uh in which you know said look i don't have time for games i can kick you out of the airport if you want to go on about this misgendering stuff so without further ado i want to go ahead and play the video well i saw the video and honestly nobody have time for this little games these people are doing people don't have time you go somewhere and Obviously, what the person sees is a dude. You don't expect the person to come out up to and say and ask you, what do you go by? Nobody have that time. Nobody have that time. They have other bigger issues to be that they're dealing with, let alone, alone on their job. You're here yeah, saying or record and or saying you misgender the person. You might as well just go right on your forehead what gender you choose to identify as. And that is just simple. I thought the Delta um, staff worker handled it well and did a pretty good job. But all, all the same, let's hear what Greg, I've got to say. And what about when a Delta employee misgenders you I'm intentionally? So sorry, while, while, she's talk, while he's talking, you're talking. You just misgendered me again. Okay. <laughs> Multiple times. Gotcha. Both of you have. Sorry. Wasn't intentional, but if you yeah. want to take it personal. That's also well, okay. she did do it intentionally twice. Yes, you're talking to me too. You said she, and then you said he. You're being condescending, and if you want to continue, Ooh. I have full authority escort you out hmm. the building right Simple. this morning. If you want to play that game with me, mm. okay. would you like to continue three days before Christmas? I really don't mind. You I'm good. I'll just put this on. Mm. Mm. Yo. Mm. Yeah. So let, let's actually just play this again, just so you guys could digest how cold this was right this guy was ice cold okay i love this we need to see a lot more of this right let's play it again and what about when adult employee misgenders I'm you so intentionally sorry, while, while she's talking while he's talking you're talking you just misgendered me again okay multiple times gotcha. both of you have <laughs> sorry. wasn't intentional but if you yeah. want to take it personal 
That's also well, she did do it intentionally twice. Okay, so you're talking to me too. Murder, so you said she, and then you said he. You're being condescending, and if you want to continue, Ooh. I have full authority to escort you out the building right this moment. If you want to play that game with me, okay. Would you like to continue three days before Christmas? I really <laughs> oh, don't. Back to business. I'll just put this on. My God. Wow. I love really? that. That's how you handle these woke individuals. They want to boohoo, whine, and cry. Hey, you misgendered me. You called me a, a he instead of a she. <laughs> right? Again, this guy has a lot to deal exactly. with. Exactly. Okay? It's the holidays. It's stressful. He does not have time <laughs> to sit around and decide what your appropriate pronouns are. Right? They're going to go based off what see. they see. Okay? They're going based off what they see. Their best guess. And that's it. And for you to sit around here and complain about, oh, you're misgendering me. What do you want the guy to do? <laughs> right? What do you want him to do? Because with some of these people, what the correct or the uh, preferred pronoun is uh, depends on what side of the bed they wake up on in the morning. <laughs> right? So, again, one morning they wake up, it's a he. One morning they wake up, it's a she. Nobody really knows. So, again, how, how is he really supposed to know? Is it, and is it really worth making a big deal out of? Like I don't think that it is. And the way this guy handled this is the way that a lot of these people should start handling it because this is what's happening. Exactly. You have people that are going out in public expecting to be misgendered, right? And the fact that they expect to be misgendered tells you everything you need to know about how they actually view themselves, okay? What they think about themselves. The fact that you expect to be misgendered mm. Tells you everything you need to know okay. about how these people think of themselves. Exactly. Okay, just some food for thought there, right? But they're expecting to be misgendered. So that's why they're carrying their cameras around and they're trying to out uh, workers that are working with the public who accidentally misgender them. And then they're trying to post it online to get an employee fired and in trouble. You can't. Trying to ruin their lives over making an honest mistake. And this guy handled this situation the best I have ever seen any employee <laughs> that these people are trying to out handle the situation okay you say look was it intentional but if you want to take it personal that's on you <laughs> right exactly. that's basically what he said and if they want to continue to carry on it's with big. these fake complaints right the woke virtue signaling the oh you misgendered me okay fine i have authority to escort you out of the airport i can kick you out of the airport Simple. if you want to continue to play these games because that's exactly what it is. It's a game. Exactly. He knows it's a game. The fact that this guy is sitting there recording it and trying to make a big deal out of something that the airport worker already said was an honest mistake. You want to continue to carry on about it? You want to continue to make a big deal about it? You want to continue to escalate over something that is a minuscule problem? Right? Okay, fine. I will kick you out of the airport. It's three <laughs> days before Christmas. And that's exactly, that's exactly how these individuals that deal with the public, that have to deal with these types of situations. Exactly. Of trying to be outed for hate and bigotry or oh, misgendering, girl. right? That's exactly how they should deal with it. He was polite, said, look, wasn't my fault, but hey, if you want to take it personal, you can take it personal. It's not personal, but if you want to take it that way, it's on you. Mm -hmm. Was intentional. Oh, you want to keep complaining? All right, cool. Well, you can go. You can get out. <laughs> right? You can get out. If that's how you really feel. I love it. I love this. I love this guy. In fact, this guy deserves a raise. He does. Right? He deserves a raise. He deserves to be promoted to the next position. He does. Okay? He should definitely be running stuff. Okay? Because he's directed to the point. He don't play games. Exactly. He seems efficient. I love that. And I hope that Delta does not fold to the woke pressure mm -hmm. that these individuals are going to put on them to punish this employee mm -hmm. for doing his job correctly. True. And that's the point of making this video. It is a pushback against the mob that is going to try to come against this guy yeah. for doing Standing his job up. correctly yeah. and handling this in the best possible way. True. Because these individuals are agents of chaos. <laughs> they live on the internet to... Of course cry fake bigotry and hate and victimhood and then they go out in public knowing that they're going to get misgendered and they try to out people and ruin people's lives for making this mistake exactly. because they're not caught up on the latest woke language or the mandates that these people are making in regards to how you have to agree with their worldview and it's about time that people started Stop standing it, up yeah. and saying no 
I don't care. You can leave. You don't have to use our business. You don't have to use our service. Mm -hmm. if, this, if this is the type of games that you're going to play, if you're going to boohoo whine and complain. So, hey, I love this. This guy needs a raise. He needs a promotion. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace. Well, and that is it. That is just the truth. I, I, I thought he handled it really well because nobody ha really have time to play, be playing games with these people. But these people always, like just like what Greg said, and that is the truth, these people always are up on their sleeves to look for somebody that would misgender them or whatever. And then tomorrow they come out to cry and say this person did this. And obviously his intention was to get the employee fired because what in the name of craziness was it that this person brought out a phone or camera to record and post on the social on their socials of course that that is their end game nobody have time to google or get themselves updated to say oh what's pronoun whatever who does that i mean there are all the bigger issues in the world that people are dealing with than to wonder what somebody have decided to go by. He saw a dude. He identified you what by what he is saying. It's that simple. And it's not even a big deal. But obviously people just want to make a big deal out of nothing. I thought the employee handled it pretty well and it's about time because these people are just out here to create chaos. But yeah, the, uh, truthfully, the employee needs a raise because he handled it pretty well. And he, he, was, just, he was just doing the job. And that, is, and that is it. But yeah, this was interesting. I thought he handled it pretty well and pretty okay. And yeah, I'm sure tons of people have got a different opinion regarding this. And Greg absolutely broke it down. He said the, exactly my thoughts. And that is it. But yeah, I'm sure tons of people have got a different opinion regarding this. And I would really love your honest contribution to this. You can share other useful information you think might be really helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and all of that stuff. And until next time, see you in the next video.